Hey, Coach, how you doing? Hey, Aaron. So uh, who's your kicker? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, did you guys do a lot of um, – I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you did a lot of uh, situational stuff with the place kickers. How did they do? Good day for both of the guys. Um, I do think, you know, the, the competition's been really good. I do think that uh, it's starting to shape up, though, and I'm starting to get a much better feel of who it's going to be. You know, Coach Norvell and I talked about that a little bit before um, before the scrimmage today. You know, we're not ready to, to, to declare it and, and name a winner yet, but, um, you know, I do think we're getting closer to that. So hopefully here in the next uh, three to four days, we'll be, we'll be able to have, you know, a little bit more definitive announcement in terms of that. But, um, you know, I want, but that's going to be coaches' call uh, on when that, that announcement is. Chris? Uh, Coach Norvell also talked about the long snapper competition. Can you just talk about two guys kind of going at it there? Yeah, you know, I'll start with Garrett Murray. You know, he uh, he's a guy that the last couple of years since we've been here has works hard every day. Uh, I appreciate his commitment to this program and how hard he works. And uh, James Rosenberry is a transfer um, that I actually had in another school, uh, so so I have a lot of familiarity with him. Um, and and it's been good. I mean, you know, the the snapping has been good this this uh, fall camp. Um, they battle it out. You know, I have no problems of, of having a short snapper and a long snapper that, that split duties uh, and, and using both guys based on, on the competition. So uh, we'll see how it, how it ends up this week. But uh, I, th I think there's a good chance that you'll end up uh, having possibly seeing both guys play this year. Will? Hey, Coach. So, you know, obviously punter is not a position that a ton of people are going to talk about, but it seems like Alex has had a really impressive camp punting the ball. Just what stood out to you about the way he's punted the ball throughout? I, I just think he feels really confident right now. And, uh, you know, obviously a lot of a lot of performance, you know, a lot of his performance is, is based on, on being in good rhythm and a good groove. And, um, you know, I think he feels good about where he is. You know, having another, having a whole season of, of experience playing American football obviously helps him. Um, there's there's a lot fewer things that he's seeing now for the first time. He's been through a fall camp. Uh, he knows what to expect. And I think now he can just kind of relax and, and let his talent shine. And, and he's done a nice job of that throughout this camp. And uh, you know, I'm excited for him because I thought he did some, some good things last year. But, you know, I, I said this a week ago, and I still feel the same way. I don't think he's really scratched the surface of how good he can be. Ira? In, in the practices we watch, you guys work on kick returns and kick coverage and kind of in segments. We don't really get to see it all play out. I guess you do that during a scrimmage. And how is the return game function um, in that setting as opposed to more kind of segmented? Well, so, you know, we kind of building block style approach in terms of how we, how we put things in. And uh, what you guys see in the, in the segments of practice that you're there is a lot of the fundamentals. Um, as the practice goes on, we get into a lot, a lot more of the scheme. Uh, I think the return game is starting to shape up well. Um, everything's always going to start with, with the fundamental aspect of it. But I thought the last three or four days, we got some really good work on, on both our punt return scheme and our kickoff return scheme. So I like where we're at. Um, you know, the speed is always the biggest difference between what it looks like in practice in that first game. Uh, so we got to keep pushing that. Um, but but I, I think we the last three or four days, we, we've really done some good things in, in both return units. Eric? Coach, Marcus Cushney is somebody who's been mentioned by Coach Norvell a few times, especially tonight, when he mentioned that tonight was more about players who were on the cusp of getting reps, really battling. Did you see that kind of energy and execution and consistency that you need from him tonight? Yeah, you know, I thought Marcus flashed tonight, made some plays. You know, the thing that that he absolutely uh, brings to the table is is a good edge rush presence and speed. And uh, you saw both those things flash tonight, and he was able to make some some plays. And um, you know, it, for him, it's a matter of how quick can we get him prepared uh, because he's only been with us for a couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, every day he's learned something. So uh, we got to get him caught up to speed, and, and that's what we do on a daily basis. But I like what I saw from him tonight, and, um, you know, I, I think he's going to be a guy that will be able to make an impact for us this fall. As well. Hey, Coach, with some of the adjusted rules the NCAA did with 
contact and the physicality of practices. Like you can't do straight line, head on, head on sort of stuff. Is that going to be an advantage for kick coverage units, you think, or, or kick return units when the season starts? And are you getting a better picture of that after scrimmaging? You know, the, the rule changes, I think, you know, anything that, that any rule changes that are for the, for the betterment of, of the uh, player's safety, I think is a good thing. Um, some of the things that we've done traditionally from a, from a coaching standpoint and the drills and, um, you know, you have, I haven't missed them this, this camp, put it that way. I haven't, I haven't wished that we could have done some of the things that maybe we have done in the past. We tweak and adjust, and that's one of the great things that Coach Norvell, I think, does is he's, he's thorough and prepared in everything that we do. Um, so I think the changes and the rule changes haven't really affected us very much because we've taken the drills and just modified them to where they're not that straight line contact but we're still teaching the fundamentals of the technique. I think we've seen some of a few, very few, a few of the freshmen get to take part in some of the looks like with the, 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 the better special teams guys like Shaheem and McLeek and some of those guys, what does it say about the ones who do get to play on those units as a freshman, if they do? Well, I mean, I think it's a twofold part, you know, for, for the young guys to get to play, uh, number one, they have to be physically ready to do it, um, you know, and there is there is a big transition from high school to, to the college level. So they got to be physically prepared, both uh, with speed and strength. And then they also have to have the mental aptitude to be able to pick up what we're trying to teach. And, uh, you know, the guy, the freshmen that play, you know, they have both. Um, they're able to pick up the scheme. They're able to pick up the fundamentals and technique, but they also have the physical ability to do it. And, now, Shaheem is an example that, that you brought up. But there's been a couple of those guys that I think are going to have a chance. Um, but uh, but there's still, you know, it's still some, some time to, to go until we have to make those decisions. But um, I, I do like some of our young guys on some of these special teams units. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.